want to be able to create your own custom Canva frames, but without spending any money on any other fancy tools or having to buy SVGs or anything like that. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can create your own custom frames for Canva for free. So let's create our own custom Canva frames completely for free and do whatever we want to do. So what we're gonna use for this is Figma. So Figma is free, all you have to do is set up an account, it's really easy, and you don't have to pay anything for it. And it gives us all these tools up here. So when you open it up, you'll see at the top here these tools. Now, of course, you can just use some basic shapes if you wanted to. But the main thing we want to do if we want to do something really custom is use this pen tool. Now, if you do want to create a frame out of a font, you can also use the text tool. So you'd set it up where you write something out with text and then you follow the rest of things just as we would with the pen tool. So we're going to look at creating a very custom one. So what you do is you first go to the shape ones and you'll see here place image because we want some reference. If we just draw completely from scratch from eye, you might find that difficult, especially if you're not an illustrator. So if we go to image, we can find an image that we can use as some reference for. So let's say we want to create a frame that's the shape of a bag. So we're just going to place it in. Then we're going to go over here where it says 100% on the side here and just put that down, maybe to 40, just so it's semi-transparent. We can see what we're doing so it's not in the way. So now we come over to our pen tool and we're just going to trace over. Now we're just gonna trace over around the outside and then I'll show you how to cut out any cutouts. So you can see with this design, it's got that shape of the handle and we wanna cut that out. So I'll show you how we cut out when you've got things that you want cut out in the middle. So to use this pen tool, you just basically, you just click to a point, move along, click to a point, click to a point, click to a point. Now, if you want to curve, you click and hold and pull. And that's how you can make a curve. So you want to go right around your shape so that it's wherever the start point is, you go right round back to the end. So now we can come over here where it says fill and just click and it's going to just fill it with some gray, which is fine for now. If it's got a stroke, we can just press minus because we don't want the stroke on it. Now we can press done and we're going to click here and delete that reference because we don't need that anymore. We're going to go back to our pen tool and we're going to draw our cutout area. So we're going to create the area that we want to cut out. All right, so we can again use fill, just click on it. It doesn't really matter too much how it looks right now. Done. Now we're going to have that selected. Press shift on your keyboard and select the background, the actual bag there. Then this will pop up at the top here and we can just click that down and subtract selection and it's cut it out. So now you've got our cut out. So now we've got our custom shape that we wanted for our frame. So we can go back over to fill and just click on it here. And you'll see here there's one that's image. We can click on this we can choose choose image. Now, don't fuss over what image you throw in there. Throw any old image you like in because it's just what's going to turn it into a frame. So any old image you've got lying around, perfectly fine. Don't fuss about it. So we're going to throw a random image in there. Then we're going to click on it. So make sure it's selected. Go to export and you want to choose PDF. Give it a name and press export. So now we're going to go back over to Canva and use our frame. So now in Canva, we're going to click on create a design. We're going to choose here, import file, select our PDF and open. Now it's going to upload it over here. So you just have to wait for it to bring it in. All right, so now we've got our file here. We can click on it and we can see it just gave us a hint there that it's a frame. So now what you can do is just go to elements, grab any photo, drag and drop it on your frame. And there you go, go to frame you can use. Now, if you want to put this in any other document, you can just right click, copy, go to your other document, right click, paste, and it will put your frame in. So that's how you can create your own custom frames for Canva for free. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today and you have fun creating your own frames for Canva. If you'd like to learn more about graphic design, branding, and using Canva, make sure you've subscribed to this channel and I'll see you next time.